Hello there YouTube. Today I am going to make a cauliflower pizza and the first step is taking the flowerettes, these things, and then grating them on the grater. So that's what we're going to do right now. Once we get two cups of cauliflower grated, then we're going to proceed with making the pizza. And for the kids, we have a regular pizza in here. But it's cooking right now. Once that's done, then, uh, then the kids will eat and I'll make my cauliflower pizza. It should take about 20. 20 to 30 minutes, I think. Don't know for sure. So, the next step is to go ahead and put these grated flowerettes in this pan. And we're gonna let them warm up a little bit. Just two cups. I'll let it cook to get them dried up a little. Okay, so we're just stirring it around. We're letting it get a little dry, get some of that moisture out of here. Then when the moisture is gone, then we'll take it off and we'll add the cheese and stuff. So right now we're just waiting for the cauliflower to cool down. Uh, so in the meantime, while it's cooling down, we're gonna go ahead and get one cup of grated Parmesan cheese and mix it with one egg. And then we'll mix that one cup of grated Parmesan cheese and the one egg with the two cups of cauliflower, little flowerettes, nice and dried. So we have our one egg and we're gonna go ahead and beat it up. And then we're going to add the Parmesan cheese once we're done with that. And then add in the, the cauliflower. Technical difficulties with my beater. So you, when you add the cheese, you don't need to add any extra salt or anything because the, the, the cheese is already kind of salty, the Parmesan cheese. So I'm just going to go ahead and beat that and add the cheese in there. Here goes the cheese. Mix that all around. And then I'm going to mix in my cauliflower. It's not 100% dry yet, but um, it will be good to go ahead and put it in. So this is what it looks like. And this is what we're going to use to make the dough. And that's why we want to put that firmer Parmesan cheese in there to make sure that it's nice and firm crust. And it'll melt good with the cauliflower. So, go ahead still kind of steaming. I hope it's not too hot. It's my first time making this cauliflower pizza. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited. We have all the ingredients for it. So the next thing I did was I went ahead and I got a little pan. I got some parchment paper. I'm going to take my, my mixture here and I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to start forming, forming it into a little crust. going to round it out and form it into a little crust as much as possible. Around the edges you're going to want to let it stick up a little bit. And then pat it down and just form it. You want it to be fairly even so that it all cooks at the same time. That's one of the reasons why you'll pick, push the sides up a little bit so that you know your sides just don't get all burnt while they're cooking. We're done um, shaping it and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven at 400 degrees and let it cook for 20 minutes and let it get hard and get some consistency to it to kind of doughish kind of consistency. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Nice and beautiful and round, not too thick, just only a little. 
And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in the oven. So stay tuned and uh, we'll show you what else, when we start putting the toppings on. So I came to check on the pizza and oh no, it's looking a little runny. I don't think I dried out the cauliflower enough or I put too much cheese because that kind of looks like cheese, but we'll see. The other one's done though. Okay, so now it's done and we're going to see if we, uh, if we cooked, uh, cooked it long enough and did a good enough job. If we did, I believe that this can just come right up on the first paper. Let's see. Look at the little stuff. Put on some just ragu. I don't have any special pizza sauce or anything. So we'll just put some. Okay, so that's it for now, YouTube. Um, I will leave the link in the description of where I got the instructions from on how to make this video. It was Chef Buck on YouTube. He did a really good job. That's my dog right there. And so, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description. I'll also leave um, the link in the description for like a couple other people that I watched but didn't follow at all. This was a really easy. <laughs> this was a really easy uh, recipe from Chef Buck. Uh, some other people use a sock and stuff, and I didn't want to do any of that. I was kind of lazy and I wanted to cook it quickly. So, just to recap, you get one cup, uh, two cups of cauliflower flour, grounded, and then you also uh, get one cup of Parmesan cheese, one egg, and mix it all together, and then put in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 20 minutes so the crust can harden and then you take it out put your toppings and put it in the oven for another 10-15 minutes so that it could cook and that's what we've done and that's our finished product looks amazing can't wait to eat it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and please hit that like and subscribe button have a great day night bye